What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We're against Cool Dude, who's bringing a very cool team. Look at the Glass Rider, the main air trick, which I've never seen in Pokemon Sword and Shield um, as far as competitive goes. The Espeon, which we all know how we feel about Espeon, and we know how we feel about the Haxorus, the Center Scorch, and the Charizard. So we do have those Pokemon on the table. Now, one of the biggest things that I've noticed with this team is that we have a big weakness to Ferrothorn. I didn't make any changes to counter uh, to counter the Ferrothorn, unfortunately, but um, overall, I feel like as long as we don't face any strong OU Pokemon with this, it will be okay for the most part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with Swampert and honestly, just flip turn out of there. It doesn't matter what decides to come in. Swampert is going to be my choice. And the reason behind that is because I'm a banded Swampert. So if you guys missed the last Wi-Fi battle, check it out. I was supposed to record Pokemon last night, and I completely forgot that I recorded The Forest, which, by the way, if you guys didn't watch that video, new series that we're doing on this channel, check it out. So, I had the four, I had, basically, I had my capture card hidden, and I had my desktop recorded, so I, I literally recorded one screen of me talking and another screen of a bunch of me talking, so if you guys are familiar with OBS, you know what I mean. I just realized this is one level 100 battle. We're, we're gonna find another battle. We're gonna find another battle because I, I, I didn't realize that it was no restrictions. That's, that's my bad. I was just gonna say, check out the forest. I'm serious because it's a good game. It's a really good game, and we're barely getting into it, so it's you guys should check it out. Okay, so Swampert comes out just like we envisioned would come out. So, a couple things here. I'm first and foremost going to just go ahead and uh, and you turn out of here. Because I don't want to risk this being a physical attacker and just hitting us with a nice punch. So, that, okay, that's why. That's a crit. It's a crit! That's why it did a lot of damage. I was like, hold up. That's not a defensive Swampert if I did that much damage. So, we're just going to go ahead and go into our own Swampert here. And... We're not, uh, we're obviously not going to Earthquake right off the bat. Bulk up. Cool. That's very cool. That is awesome, actually. And it's a little bit scary. Now, Swampert and Swampert mirror match. I'm honestly just going to Liquidation. If worse comes to worse, he goes into Rillaboom. I'm going to bring in the Umbreon. So you withdraw Swampert. So that's a waste of a bulk up. And Rillaboom comes out just like we envisioned. Flip turn was the play here, but I wanted to take a free Pokemon if so I could, especially after a bulk up because I don't want to take a, a plus one attack against the Swampert because it's kind of scary in case you haven't noticed. So what is this? Defense goes up, which is nice for my opponent at the very least. And obviously we are not about to take a Grassy Glide. So defense, oh, so much for that, for that um, seed, my boy. Okay, so what we're going to do I'm just gonna go back into Crobat. That's my switch against this thing, and it will will always be my switch. So here comes the Crobat against this Rillaboom, which we'll be able to take any priority that this thing wants to hit to us. So we resist that pretty heavily, and it still does a pretty good amount of damage. So that's kind of scary. Um, but we're just gonna do here though. I really want a Brave Bird, but I think the play is going to be to Frost Poison. No, he has a Metagross. I'm just gonna Leech Life here. If he wants to switch into the Meta Metagross, so be it. We're just going to Leech Life. Here comes the Metagross, just like I figured. Here comes that Meta! Okay, Leech Life is going to do some pretty good damage. Not really, unfortunately. I think it resists the bug type. No, it's actually neutral. So we lost more damage than what we received. And then the Metagross is going to get some health back, unfortunately. And we're just... The play is going to be to your turn here, obviously. Now, what am I going to bring in against this Metagross, you ask? The answer is, is the answer to the question is simple, Umbreon. Because we've got the foul play for this thing. And then we can just wish and baton pass next turn. So that's what we're going to do. I can honestly predict after coming in to, um, against this one. Well, what do you have for me? Yeah, Umbreon's the play because you're probably going to go for the Psychic type attack. That's why we're going into Umbreon here. Meteor Mash, okay. So I could have gotten away with going into something else. That's a lot of damage, unfortunately. And he gets the attack up. Okay. We might not be able to take an attack. So we get the the HP restoration from the grassy uh, surge of the terrain and then the leftover. So that's that'll help us a little bit. I'm just going to foul play here because I'm going to take advantage of this plus one. Just don't have hammer arm. I should have probably protected the scout a little bit. He withdraws. That's good for us, to be honest. 
Riparian comes out, which is actually a pretty hard hitter. Very, very hard hitter. So that obviously doesn't do anything because this thing is as tanky as they come. And then we get a little bit more health, which is actually pretty cool. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Okay, now I'm going to protect because this thing is probably going to want to throw a hammer arm at our way. And I'm just going to scout a little bit and see what it wants to throw at us. Okay, what you got for us? Megahorn. Okay, so that actually lets us play a little bit better. Now, he probably is going to either go Megahorn again or probably predict the Crobat lead and go for the Rock-type attack. And I am going to take advantage of the situation. And I kind of want to Keldeo, to be honest, but Rhyperior's attack stat is kind of scary. I'm going to go Metagross. Hope for the best. This thing is probably carrying Filter. I think it's Filter, right? No, Filter is Mega Aggron. What is your other... Solid Rock. Solid Rock is your ability. Megahorn again. Doesn't phase us. Oh, it's going to do a lot of damage. So, yeah. I'm going to just Meteor Mash it here. You can go whatever you want. You can do whatever you want for me. I'm just going to Meteor Mash. Hopefully get a plus one because he got a plus one. I mean, it would only be fair, right? Withdraws the right barrier, so good play on my opponent's part. And Rillaboom comes out. Oh, I hate Rillaboom so much. I really do. What does this thing have for me? I don't. I honestly have no clue. Okay, Meteor Mash. Metagross! Why? That's two weeks in a row we missed a Meteor Mash. That actually matters. It actually matters. I, I don't know what he wants to do. That kind of mattered a little bit. He, this thing can sword dance, so we're just gonna meteor match. Knock off. Oh, that's what they. I forgot about knock off. We take. We take it. Surprisingly, we're just gonna meteor match here. <sighs> I'm about to release this Metagross. I do not care. It's a bit shiny. I really don't. I really don't. It has superpower. Wow, do we just get... Do we just get swept by Rillaboom? I really hate you, Metagross. Right now, at least. I, I don't like you. Hate is a strong word, so I don't like you. Okay, knockoff happens again. That's fine. And then I'm gonna scout the fighting type move. I feel like I have no option but to scout that fighting type attack. Maybe even foul play. Yeah, we're gonna protect and foul play. And so that's what that's what the play. Two meteor mashes in a row that missed. That mattered a lot. Yeah, he has the fighting type attack. So honestly, we're just gonna try. We're gonna try to just get rid of the Rillaboom. How? I have no clue to be honest. I have no idea. How much more turns of grassy terrain? One. This is the last turn. So my best bet is to go into Crobat and then just Leech Life, U-Turn, or Brave Bird. Probably U-Turn, though. Come on. You want to hit me with that body press? Yes, baby. We resist that times four. So Crobat is our best counter against this Rillaboom, unfortunately. So next, I'm just gonna U-turn and go Umbreon. That's our that's our best play. I'm really tempted to Leech Life though. I really am. But I think U-turn is the play. If you read it, you read it. If not, then so be it. Okay, that's good for us. Cause now we get switch priority. Well, initiative is the right term. So here comes the right barrier. This game is gonna go down to the wire. Okay. Now, we're gonna go Metagross again. And Metagross, if you miss one more time, I'm seriously gonna consider getting rid of you from this team. Or get, getting rid of you from this team. Okay. Here comes that Meteor. You know you got it in you, Meta. You know you got it, Steven. Withdraws Rhyperior, just like we figured. Here comes the Rillaboom. Oh, Swamper at this time, which is perfectly fine. Just don't miss. 
Thank you. Now get that plus one in attack to redeem yourself. Oh, my boys! I am okay with you missing now. I really am. Just do not miss the Zen headbutt. That's all I ask. Okay, meta. Redeeming yourself. I see you, boy. We get our first knockout in this game, which is actually pretty crucial. It's pretty crucial. I think that plus one actually mattered a little bit. Rillaboom comes out, which is probably going to hit us with a knockoff, unfortunately. And then we got to make a decision here. I think Metagross is still valuable, especially since we got a Wish Pokemon. And so we're just going to go ahead and go Umbreon. If you want to hit us with the body press, <laughs> I'm going to hate it, but so be it. Okay, Grassy Glide. Yikes, that does some damage. That did a lot of damage. I'm going to protect. Probably going to body press, and that's fine. My next Pokemon to switch into is going to be no other than the uh, Crobat. I'm just trying to stall out these, these turns. That's why I went Umbreon and protected as much as I could. Um... I really need to weaken this thing is the biggest problem that I have and I think I have to sack Lucario off. I feel like that's what we have to do. But I'm gonna go Crobat here. I'm gonna play it stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna play it stupid and I'm gonna go Crobat. Grassy Glide again. We resist that. And then we're gonna U-turn again. If it knocks out, it knocks out. If it doesn't, that's perfectly fine also. If he stays in, I'm just going to go Lucario. He withdraws. Perfect. And Rhyperior comes out again. Okay. Hopefully, I can take another thing away from him. I really, really, really need to start saving the Scrobat. He's whittling my team down. And I need to find a way to wish... And uh, go from there. I'm gonna go Lucario here. And since I'm carrying the Sash, I'm gonna power up punch. Just because if really Boom comes out, I can do something to it. So I'm gonna power up punch here. And you can try to take me out if you want. You really can. You can if you want to. Now, your question has to be Am I special or am I physical? And I'm a physical Lucario. Okay, here comes the Rillaboom. I like this. I really do. Increases my attack. Oh my goodness, boys. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a fun with this one. So we kind of misplayed a little bit, and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, Meteor Mash, maybe. Close combat. We're gonna close combat. Because like I said, I'm Sash. I don't mind taking a an attack from Rillaboom. And why does it matter? Because it just got one hit KO'd. Woo! Lucario! I love you, my boy. I can see why this is your favorite Pokemon, Jillian. And especially being able to Mega Evolve, which rumor has it Diamond and Pearl Remakes are going to allow it to Mega Evolve. That's going to be awesome. That is going to be way cool. I'm going to Meteor Mash here and then Extreme Speed. Just do not miss this Meteor Mash. That's all I ask for. That's all I asked for. We're gonna almost go down here. Come on, Lucario. I believe in you. You're gonna be the thumbnail if you hit this. Oh, my boys. Woo! Okay, we're gonna extreme speed here and Lucario is single-handedly destroying my opponent. Wow. Do you have the Dragapult? Why haven't you switched into Dragapult? Why? That's my only question. Metagross comes out next. You don't have... You do have the drag. Why haven't you gone Dragapult? That's a little concerning to me. Um, do we still need Metagross? Maybe. Not really. I think I sack him off. Or maybe just close combat it. Bullet punch is a thing. Yeah, we're gonna go Metagross here. Lucario put in some work against my opponent. Jeez. He put in some good work. All right, Steven the Mudgross, who kind of threw this away for us, is going to come in. And there you go. We sack off Steven. 
for missing two meteor mass that really mattered but he made up he, he made up for him so it's all good it's all good now i go umbreon here and i wish and i protect to recover my health that's the play i'm gonna wish and protect I should be able to take an attack from this thing unless it has hammer arm, which I doubt. You're dynamaxing. I was afraid of that. I'll dynamax too, Titus. I don't care. If you want to play that dynamax game, if I got to win at this point, I'll dynamax. I I really will. Okay. Here comes Metagross. The giant Metagross. And then... What do you got? Max Knuckle. So you do... You do... Okay. Umbreon's gonna go down, unfortunately. I should have just foul played. I should have just foul played. Maybe Crowbat can come in and take an attack. Oh man, that kind of blows. I'm just gonna foul play. I, I have no choice. I have no choice okay so it's a crit it's a crit that didn't matter boys okay that's fine that's perfectly fine um earthquake swamper it would hurt i'm just gonna make sure i outspeed i'm gonna go into crowbat and just sack this thing off that's what i gotta do you always talk about what you gotta do to win and I'm about to do what I do to win. You best believe I'm about to do it to you, boy. Doesn't do anything to this thing, which makes me believe it has some defensive or even HP investment. And then we're gonna go down here. Mindstorm, that's fine. I really don't mind that. So now for the Keldeo, I get, I'm pretty sure I will outspeed the rest of his team with Keldeo. So. Maybe I set up the rain. So now I got two choices, three. Yeah, three choices in Lucario, Swampert. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Swampert here. We're gonna Dynamax ourselves. And we're gonna hit this thing with the Max Quake. That way we can guarantee that we will live an attack from Metagross. That's the play. I'm gonna Earthquake here. I'm gonna, do oh, I don't got Max Candies on this thing. That's the only bad news I have. So we might not be able to take an attack from Metagross. Regardless though, I'm Dynamaxing now, boy. And I'm gonna hit you with that Earthquake. That Max Quake. Increasing my special defense. And you're not gonna like what I'm about to throw at you. All right. Okay. Was that double HP? I didn't notice. I don't think it was though. Okay, so I actually outspeed. I could have knocked this thing out with the with the choice bandit earthquake, and I knock it out anyways. You want to play that game? You started this. That's all I got to say. I'll be able to take an attack from Dragapult, and he rage quit. You did it first, my guy. I'm serious. I wasn't gonna Dynamax in this Wi-Fi battle. You're the one that started it. That's gonna be it for this Wi-Fi battle. Lesson of today's video, do not Dynamax on me. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. I'll see you guys on Tuesday with another Wi-Fi battle. Peace.